In this video, we will introduce you to the basic features of DDS CAD Render Mode and 3D Navigation. For this introduction, we are using the building model created in the previous video. The Render Working Mode activates the 3D view and gives access to various render tools. By default, the model is presented in wireframe. In the Render Toolbox, you can change the Render Mode, for example, to Hidden Lines. Render Shaded. Render Cartoon. Or Render Shaded Cartoon. It is possible to navigate in all these render modes. The Orbit mode is the navigation function activated by default in DDS CAD. To navigate in Orbit mode, first move your cursor to a position at which you would like to rotate the model. Next, press and hold the left mouse button and subsequently move the cursor. By releasing the left mouse button, you deactivate the Orbit mode. If you press and hold left mouse button for 2 seconds without moving your mouse, you activate the pan function. To zoom in and out, you can scroll the scroll wheel up and down. Now we will look into some of the other navigation functions such as fly and walking mode. The fly mode function is represented by an airplane icon in the toolbox. When fly mode is activated, you can change the view from a first person perspective by moving the cursor. Flying through the model can be done using the arrow keys on your keyboard. In fly mode you can change the height while moving. Press escape key to deactivate the fly mode. Next we will activate the walking mode which is represented by a walking boy icon toolbox. The difference between the walking mode and the fly mode is that you remain at the same height. To deactivate the function, press Escape. DSCAD also offers model clipping options. After clicking on the function Clip Along Coordinate Axis, a window with axis lines and nodes is shown on your screen. Click on the node of the axis you would like to clip, then move the cursor in the direction of the axis to clip and left click again to finish the clipping. Here you can see some examples of clipping via the different axis. Press Escape key to close the function. The Use Clipping function activates and deactivates the clipping. Reset Clipping Planes resets the clipping of the model. DDS CAD provides the option to set a transparency level to the objects in the model. To do so, activate the Transparency tab by clicking right mouse at the bottom of the user interface and select the Transparency option. Transparency tabs shows all the available materials in the model. Select the materials you would like to make transparent. With a right mouse click, you can select the options Normal, Transparent and Wireframe. To activate the transparency settings in the model, click on Transparency mode. If you deactivate the transparency mode, it also deactivates the transparency of the model. In DDS CAD, you can also produce high quality render images. To do so, you can use one of the static advanced render modes. After you activate the desired render mode, click on Export Render Image to File. The Save dialog opens by default in the project folder to save the rendered image. Enter a name for the file and select the file type from the pull-down list. Click the Save button to proceed. In this dialog you can define the size of the image. The higher the resolution, the bigger the size of the file and the longer the processing time. Enter the number of pixels in the width and height fields and press OK to start rendering the image. Here you can see the result of the rendered image. 
At last, you can go back to a 2D view by clicking on the 2D floor plan in the Explorer or by activating another working mode.